we are now going to get a paper ruler and what have I done with them? They are over here. And we're going to go back to thinking about tenths of a metre. So with your paper ruler, I would like you to work, make sure you're on the centimetre side and I would like you to divide it into ten equal parts. If I divide one metre into ten equal parts, what will be the value of each part? Can you tell your partner what will be the size of each part? What will be the value of each part if I divide into ten equal parts? Good, ten centimetres. Could you give it to me as a decimal? Do you know what it is as a decimal? Or a fraction? Z yeah, we say 0 0.1, because what does the 1 represent? 1. 0.1. Good girl, 1 tenth. So we say 1 tenth. Right. Um, what will the size of each section be? What will the size, Rishi, what will the size of each section be? 0 0.10. A tenth. A tenth. Good. We don't say 0 0.10, and we'll move on to look at why. 0 0.1. What does the 1 represent? A tenth. Good boy. Right, there we go, into ten equal sections, work on the centimetre side and label each of your sections. Wait, don't we need to mark the zero as well? Yeah, fifty. And then sixty. We're doing every tenth of a metre, we're drawing every tenth of a metre. That bit's on 60 and that bit's on 70, so that makes exactly 10 centimetres. I would like you now to take your one metre length and I would like you to take two tenths of a metre. So I would like to see one metre and two tenths of a metre laid out in front of you, please. One metre and two tenths of a metre. One two tenths and the other's away. Has everyone got one metre? Point to your one metre. And point to your two tenths of a metre. Has everyone got two tenths of a metre? I would like you to tell your partner in lots of different ways how much you have in front of you. Can you think of more than one way to describe the length that you have made in front of you? See how many you can think of. Off you go. Talk to the person next to you. One, two, two, seven, one, three, two, one, with, with one metre and two, two tenths of a metre. We have 1.2 metres. Um, we have one... Um, Good, so we've got 1.2 metres. What else? Is one metre and 12 tenths. One no, metre? No, 12 tenths. Oh, yeah. 12 tenths. 12 tenths. And 20 centimetres. Okay. And, and one metre and two tenths. Fantastic. So we'd, I'm just going to stick with the metres ones. We're not going to deal with centimetres today. So we've got 1.2 metres, 12 tenths, and one metre and two tenths. Guys, that's amazing. Three different ways. One metre and there are two tenths at the end. And then you have 12 tenths because each of these like boxes are a tenth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then there's also... Um, what was it? Oh yeah, one metre and two tenths. A metre down here and the two extra tenths. We have five lots of 0 0.2 metres plus another 0 0.2 metres, which is the equivalent of um, six lots of 0 0.2 metres. 
And Tegan, what ways did you have of describing how much is there? That's what I said. That's what you said together? Two of these are 0 0.2 metres. And for that just to be an independent conversation that those two children were having was really pleasing and I'm absolutely sure not the kind of conversation they would have had um, the way that I've kind of taught tenants previously. Who can give me a way of describing what is in front of them? Janelle? Um, 0 0.8 metres. 0 0.8 metres? OK. Is that the end of it or, or more? Let's look at that. What does the 8 represent, Janelle? 8 metres. No, eight ten tenths. Eight tenths. How many tenths of a metre have you got in front of you? Have you counted up how many tenths of a metre you've got all together? Twelve. Twelve metres. No, twelve tenths. Good. You've got twelve tenths of a metre. So I could do eight tenths of a metre. Add some more tenths of a metre. How many more tenths of a metre would I need to add? to get 12 tenths. I've got eight tenths. Four. Good. Four. Tenths. Good boy. OK. So that's one way of representing what we've got. Can we have other ways to do it? So let's have, Charlie, can you give me a way of just saying very clearly what you've got in front of you? So we've got 12, but then we, because it, that'll be an improper fraction. Oh, hang on, stop, stop, stop. You've got 12 what? 12 Metres. You've got 12 metres. Are you sure you've got 12 metres? Um, I don't think you have. 12, 1.2 metres. OK, let's start with that. We've got 1.2 metres. I agree with that. What does the one represent? Um, one whole metre. And what does the two represent? Two tenths of a metre. Good. Now, you're saying something about 12, Charlie, and there is something about um, 12. So you could also do 12, tw um, 12, which would be an improper fraction. Yeah, if it was 12 what? Because 12 isn't 12. a fraction, 12 is just a, num a 12 whole number. 12 tenths. Good boy. So I could write it like this, 12 tenths, which is an improper fraction, you're right. I'm going to show us how we can write that as decimals. We have 12 lots of one tenth, and that's what I'd like us to think about now. 12 lots of multiplied by, how do I write one tenth as a decimal? How do I write one tenth as a decimal, uh, Bo? Um, 0.4, uh, 1. 0.1. So let's all have a look at this. 12 lots of 0.1 metre. Was there any other ways? Herbert, I think you guys had another way of writing it. We did 1 metre plus 2 tenths of a metre. Good. Or I think those were the three ways you came up with, so that was the third one that I wanted to get on the board. So everybody facing the front, because this is the really important bit of new learning. We've learnt about splitting whole numbers and decimals up like this, but the really important thing I would like us to think about now is thinking of it as multiplication. Okay? Just have a look at those two images on the board and how I've written them. Have a look. Everybody needs to be looking for themselves and thinking. So 1.2 metres can be made up of 1 metre and two tenths per meter, or can be made up of 12 one tenths of a meter. Can we all say that? 12 one tenths of a meter. 12, 12 one tenths of a meter.